Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for being here. I'm John Kokoris. I'm the first assistant U.S. attorney, and I'm very pleased to be joined by ATF Special Agent in Charge Kristen Detinio, Chicago Police Department Superintendent David Brown, and my colleague Jared Jodry. I'm also pleased to announce federal charges today in connection with yesterday's shooting that injured two ATF Special Agents and an ATF Task Force Officer. Eugene McLaurin of Chicago was charged in federal court today with assault on an ATF special agent using a deadly weapon. As alleged in the complaint that was filed today, two ATF special agents and an ATF task force officer were working in the early morning on the south side of Chicago yesterday in connection with a covert investigation when they noted that another vehicle was following them they were able to record the license plate of that other vehicle. When the agents in TFO approached the expressway in their unmarked vehicle, the driver of the other vehicle with his window down began firing at them. All three officers were injured. Fortunately, they've been treated and none of their injuries are life-threatening. Police were able to locate the vehicle from which the shots were fired, and in a later search, Mr. McLaurin's ID was found in that vehicle. Mr. McLaurin, as described in the complaint, was found at a house near where that vehicle was parked, and he was taken into custody by the Chicago police. And as outlined in the complaint, he acknowledged that he was the driver of the vehicle and that he fired the shots. Mr. McLaurin had his initial appearance this afternoon, and he's been detained in custody. We are deeply grateful for the work that our law enforcement partners do every day, and in particular for the outstanding work by ATF, Chicago Police, Illinois State Police, and others in connection with this shooting. And with that, I'll turn it over to ATF Special Agent in Charge, Kristen Detinio. Thank you. So first I'd like to thank First Assistant John Kokoris and Superintendent Brown of the Chicago Police Department. The charge announced today is a direct result of the tireless efforts among the men and women of law enforcement in our community. None of us have, could have done this alone and we are grateful to the U.S. Attorney's Office for their efforts to quickly charge this case. Let me be clear, we are in the fight against gun violence together. We need the cooperation of our entire community not only our law enforcement community, but the community at large. I assure you, those responsible for this heinous crime will be brought to justice, and all those who terrorize the community using gun violence will be held accountable. I commend all members of law enforcement for their heroism every single day while protecting our community. I am so thankful that these two agents and task force officers survived this attack on their lives and on our profession. Thank you. I will turn it over to my colleague, Superintendent Brown. Thank you, Christian. I just want to acknowledge the hard investigative work done by our detectives after this event occurred. Uh, the work on the ground, putting the pieces together, following up, collaborating with our ATF partners along with our U.S. Attorney's Office was extraordinary good work, basic police work that brought uh, this offender to justice. We will not relent in our fight against gun violence, protecting the people of Chicago. And I just want to acknowledge the hard work the bravery and courage it takes to in the most challenging time to be a police officer in law enforcement. I just want to thank the dedication it takes to do the work now and bringing this person to justice. This is just another example of that great work. Thank you. 